Hey, good evening, sir. Hi, class. How you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome. <clears throat> How are you? Mm, pretty good, thanks. How are you? I'm okay. How was your weekend? Mm, it was productive. I, I mean, by the way, from English, they called me from the academy. So because I wasn't, I didn't. I mean, I hadn't finished the homework, so I only had. 16, 64% of the completion of the task. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, I should have asked you on Tuesday or Friday, I remember, but I should have asked you before because I had a problem resolving uh, in, the, in the platform. It has some bugs on it. So, it's, it, so I had to require help from them. So she helped me. The girl who called me, okay, and I was able to resolve it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, you see what happens is that sometimes, sometimes or the majority of the time, don't worry about it because sometimes the um it doesn't work the uh <clears throat> the platform. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just how a little mistake also yeah, grammar that's... mistake spelling mistake and that's forever I, I it's they never fix it i don't know why hold on let me check one thing okay so angela how was your weekend good evening teacher um my weekend very well what did you do? Very nice. <laughs> yes. What did What did you do? Um, I and and the weekend. Mm -hmm. Uh, I went the, to the shore with my family, and then uh, visited my friend because. Uh, um, I, they were sick. They were sick. They were sick. And, um, and they finished, um, the combat at my house. Who, um, who was, who was sick? Uh, my, and, and the song, the my friend. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I hope everything is better now. Let me see. <clears throat> Gerardo, how are you? Hey, teacher. How are you, sir? Nice. Here, at, here at home. How was your weekend? Uh, it was a short weekend because normally I don't I don't work on on Saturday, so and I have to work this Saturday, so it's only Sunday for me for and fun be with my family. Uh, and the next day is is really Monday, so I, I I really feel it was a really short weekend. Yeah, weekends. Yeah. Me too. Some sometimes I feel that. You know, I have a question, Gerardo. Um, do you have earphones? Yes, yes, you sure. They are. Oh, so the microphone is in your earphones. <laughs> yes, yes. You can hear me. No, I can hear you, but I can hear everything around you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I was just wondering. <laughs> it's my wife making dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just back, back behind me. All right, that's good. She's making dinner right now at eight. Yes. 
I, I came every uh, I came early late and I have coffee and with what is it? Pan dulce. Sweet bread. That's sweet bread. So I have coffee and sweet bread very late, like six thirty. Oh man. Mm. Oh, so okay. that's the reason I I have a dinner late too. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm at, I can't open my platform. I don't know why. We begin That's... this weekend section two. Wait, can you give me one second, please? I'm going to, hold on. I want to check something. How come I can't open my platform? Please hold on one second. Okay. Okay, thank you for waiting class, I'm back now. Okay, <clears throat> so everybody's here almost. Ronald, how was your weekend? Um, I will remember, I went to Apulo with my family. We went to, I don't remember the name of the place, but there was like a cover fee we paid four dollars uh, each each uh, adult and the kids were like two dollars per kid and i didn't do anything on friday i just in that pl wait, in that place you went to what did you have access to with that money with, with that cover uh, it was like some pools and just the place in general uh, okay. I was told that that place was like dangerous some months ago because uh, gang members used to used to spend time there. But from now on, it's a, a nice alternative. It's next to next to Coca Cola. Coca Cola. There was like a Coca Cola place. Complejo Coca Cola, I guess, was the name. And it's next to next to it. It's like a clubhouse. Yes, that's right. For people okay. who work in the, how do they call it? In the company. La Constancia. La Constancia. Oh, La Constancia. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Lisette, how was your weekend? Hello. Good evening. In Hi, my good case, evening. My weekend was, I was in my in my house because I had a, I thinking 
eat migrant? Migraines. Migraines? Mm -hmm. Yes, only this year. I stay in my home with my, my family. Migraines is such a terrible thing to have. There is no cure, huh? Mm -hmm. There is no cure. Claudia, how are you? How was your weekend? I'm doing well. Um, it was so so because I got sick on Friday. Um, on Saturday, I just read the day. And yesterday, mm -hmm. I went to my friend's house. And I almost spent all the afternoon. And I have dinner there, too. And and did you finish your training? Yes. How's your schedule? And to, um, tomorrow is my first day um, related with nesting. And I I have the same schedule that I have the, the <clears throat> last week. So are you happy with the schedule? <laughs> uh, believe it that I'm a little nervous and excited too because yes. it's my first experience uh, related with boys. Yes. It's your first experience with what? And um, with boys, because I was on chat. Okay. Taking calls, taking okay. calls. Yes, I, I think that's better, yes. yes. No, because yes. I'm sorry, I heard my <laughs> first experience with boys. But, no. okay, no, <laughs> but look, it's not, okay. <clears throat> Remember I told you this. The difference between English and Spanish, en el acento, is your lips. Yeah. Now, look at my lips. Only one. Boys. Boys. No. Boys. Boys. Por eso se llama V. La vidental. The other one is boys. You see the difference? The thing is that in Spanish, no sé si son los salvadoreños, yo creo que todos hablamos tan mal y no nos importa. La vaca, vacación, vení, 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 vení. Todo, o sea, you know, we say, y por eso siempre decimos, ve grande o ve pequeña, ve grande o ve pequeña. Entonces, en inglés, Ah, porque en español hablamos con el estómago. Por eso hay tildes. Cúpido. Right? Cúpido. Yes. Cúpido. In English, you don't. In English, everything is in the lips. In the lips, define the sound. My name is David. No, David. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, oh, so, but, uh, okay. So, Claudia, congratulations. Tomorrow is your first <coughs> experience. Yes, you forget. You forget. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Angelica, how are you? How was your weekend? Hello. My weekend was boring. I stay in home, drawing and watching Netflix. All right. <laughs> no, that's not boring. Believe me. That, that's boring. <laughs> For me, that's perfect. All right, Suzanne, how are you? You are on mute, I think. I'll come back to you, Susan. Jonathan, how are you? Can you hear me now? Now I can hear you, yes. Okay, so, well, I, I, I'm okay, thank you, and, and how, how are you? I'm okay. What's that in your background? Um, this is, <laughs> uh, it's Bluey's house. Bluey's? Yeah, Bluey's. This, this is a cartoon, actually, that I, that I watch for my kids, but it's, it's really lovely, actually. It's a, it's a little dog family. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. So they um, people said that this cartoon is for kids, but actually it's for parents. It has um, a lot of topics and situations around the family that are really, really important 
And do you watch it on YouTube? No, actually, I I watch it in that app that I told you the last time in in Streamio. Oh, okay. It's in there. Yeah, it's it's really cute, actually. It it it, it teaches you really good it's, stuff. It's, it's called Louis. Louis. Blue Louis. Louis. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Louis. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. You know, as a father, I'm interested in that. Okay, John. Yeah, you should hmm? watch it. Yeah, I will. I I have that right down now. Jonathan, how are you? How's your weekend, sir? Hi. Mm, my weekend. Do you want to see a very cool cup? Look. See? No. This is very, <laughs> this is the best cup for coffee. <laughs> nah. This cup is actually from Camp No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, how was your weekend? Mm. Um, Saturday, I rest too late. I'm sorry, what do you mean I rest too late? Um, until. Until? Until. Until. Mm -hmm. But until what? Until afternoon, night? In the morning. Okay. So I rested until late morning. Sorry. <laughs> I, oh, boy, I said I wake up later. Yes, but I woke up late. I woke, I woke up late. late. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What time is late? Mm, 10 a.m. Yeah, it's late. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let me share my screen with you. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 teacher. Teacher. Okay, we're going to study about past modals. Do you know what modals are? Not really, teacher. Models. Oh. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> we'll do this right now. We'll see about what models are. Let me share sound. Hi, we're about to study past models. And Can you hear? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. we models of obligation. Okay, Stay and watch the explanation. Past models and phrasal models of obligation should have, was supposed to, had to, I needed to all describe obligations in the past, although they sometimes have different uses. I should have stayed home and studied. It was a good idea, but I didn't do it. I was supposed to be studying this weekend. It was required, but I didn't do it. I had to wear a uniform. We were forced to do this. I didn't have to go with my friends, but I did. There was no obligation. I thought I needed to have more clothes. I thought this was necessary. Past models and phrasal models. Should have is followed by a past participle. Whereas was, were, supposed to, had to, didn't have to, I needed to, are followed by the simple form of the verb. Had to describe strong obligation in the past and suggest there was no choice. I had to water my plants. Was, were, not supposed to suggest an expectation that the action was required or prohibited. 
It is comparable in meaning to wasn't, weren't allowed to. He was supposed to graduate last year. Should have suggests that the action was advisable, but was not done. Should not have suggests that the action was not advisable, but was done. He should have learned English before. Needed, did they need to, suggests that an action was necessary, but there was choice about doing it or not. She needed to exercise. Didn't have to means that there was not obligation to do the action. They didn't have to wake up early. Complete the following sentences with your own information. Then. We're going to do something different right now. Hold on. Let me see. <clears throat> do you see my, I'm going to chat with you. Okay, pay attention to the chat. Hold on. Okay, first we have can. Do you know what can is? Um, lata. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Yes, but in grammar, <laughs> I like that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I you. I thought in that too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's good. But you, you see, can is uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> can is a motto. Is I can, I can't. And and also a soda can. Yes. Okay. So. Can is something you can do. Can has two meanings. Number one, can of permission. Who gives permission? Authority. Autoridad, right? Okay. okay. Your boss. Your boss, my mom, um, your mom, um, your husband. Um, hey, what happened, women? I'm waiting for the. Okay, no, so authority, you know. So you ask permission to authority, right? Boss, can I come 10 minutes late tomorrow? Boss, can I go to the to the um, hospital, I'm very sick. Mother, can I have $10? Okay, so, so number one, can is permission. That number two is ability. Ability, can you swim? Yes, I can swim. Okay, swim is ability. I can't or I can't. Okay, Claudia, Hiron, can you drive? No, I can't. Okay, good. So thank you. The negative of can is I can't. Yes. Angelica, can you can you dance? No, I can't. Okay, no, I can't. Good. So it's simple, right? Do we understand can? Do you yes, have any? Sure. Yes. Do yes, you have any sure. questions? Can we say cannot or is strictly we have to say can't? Actually, it's cannot. 
but the contraction is can't. Okay, so we can use both. Yes, but it's very strange that people say cannot, but it's, it's, it's okay. actually formal, but you can say can't. Okay, okay. All right, so next. So we understand can, right? Yes, yes. Next we have could. What is could? Making something. Can he in past? The past action. Okay, yes. Probability. Probability. Look, okay, very good. Thank you, Claudia. Could is the past of can. What is can, Angela de Jesus? What is can? Can is ability. Ability and? And uh, ability and permission. And permission, good. Okay. So could is past ability and past permission. Okay. Let okay. me give an example. Susan, do you remember when you lived with your mother and father? Yes, yes. I do, I do remember. Mm -hmm. Were they strict or not? Very strict. Okay, so could you have a boyfriend when you were 16? No, that, I but, couldn't. Okay, very good. You see, I'm not saying did you have a boyfriend because maybe you did. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, could you have a boyfriend? Could you is, did you have permission from your father and your mother in that time? So could you have a boyfriend when you were 15 or 16? No, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. Okay, good. 18? Uh, yes, by 18, I could. Yeah. They were not happy, but oh yeah, you could. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, good. Um, that that's that's the difference between can and could. It's the same thing, but could is past. When I was a little kid, <clears throat> I could climb trees. I remember I could climb trees. Now I can't. Oh, you know what? When I was in school, I could do algebra. Now I can't. I never used algebra in my life. <laughs> I remember it was difficult to study algebra, algebra. Okay, so I, I did it and I never used it. Okay. Bert, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here, I'm listening. Bert, could you vote 10 years ago? Not really. I mean, wait a minute. Yes, I was able to vote. Yes, I'm not saying we if you vote. did or I'm not saying if you did or you didn't. I'm saying is, did you have the ability or the permission to do it? Yes, yes I, I could vote. Okay, yes, I could vote. Yeah. All right. Um, Claudia, how old are you? Claudia, hit on. I'm 25. 25. Yeah. Angela, Angelica? I'm 24 years old. 24. <laughs> Jonathan? 26 years old. Okay. Who is the youngest in the class? Angela, Angelica? Me? No, who is the youngest in the mm -hmm. class? Youngest. Angelica, she's 24. I am 22. You're 22. Okay, good. This is a good example. Ronald, you're 22. Could you vote the last election? No, I could not. 
even when I got my ID, I had to request it before the elections so I could vote when I was 17. Okay, good. So you couldn't. Very good. All right. Easy, correct, class? No problem? No problem. Okay, next we have. Should. Do you know what is should? It's an advice that you can give to other person. Yes, thank you, Claudia. Should is an advice, it's like a recommendation. Yes, do you like, do you like hot dogs? Yes, I like it. Yeah. You should eat hot dogs in La Puma. They're very good. Do you understand you should eat hot dogs in La Puma? That's um, a recommendation. Lisette, you had migraines. You should, you should put a wet towel on your head. Repeat, please, teacher. Okay, you say you have migraines, correct? Correct. So you should put a wet towel on your head. Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I, I push the ice in my head. Yes, I what? I should. No, you know, you I know what? Okay, good. Thank you. When when somebody gives you a recommendation, you know, the answer is, oh, really? Thank you. Or why? Or yes, it it funciona. <laughs> it works. Yes. No, no, but what I'm saying is like when somebody gives you a recommendation, it's not a question, it's a recommendation. So the answer, oh, okay. the answer is normally the answer is, oh, really? Thank you. Okay, okay. I will. Thank you. Or, or like, remember, remember three years ago with the COVID? Everybody, everybody was an expert. Yeah. No, you should, you should. You should get honey, put lemon. You should eat no sake. Everybody was an expert. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you, you understand should? Yes. What is the negative of should? Should not. Should not or shouldn't. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you recommend, Bert, if people want to visit San Miguel? What shouldn't they take? If they want to come to San Miguel, what they shouldn't do? No, what shouldn't they mm. take with them? Oh, <laughs> well, actually, I think you don't, they shouldn't take uh, uh, like a jacket or something exactly. similar. Or a sweater, yes. Did you use a light club? Yes, very good, thank you, Bert. So if you go to San Miguel, you shouldn't take a sweater or a jacket because you will not need it. You should take shorts if possible, sandals. Okay? Okay. Okay, simple. Now, the next one is a little bit interesting. Going to and will. What is the difference? So listen, I'm going to eat 
I'm going to eat a hamburger tomorrow or I will eat a hamburger tomorrow. What is the difference? Mm. I think when you say I will is you're expressing a desire. I will, you wish to do something tomorrow. But when you say I'm going, you're actually saying you're going to do it. Mm. You had the uh, a percent of security that you're gonna perform the action instead of will. But that's what I think by anyway, the same means you're gonna do something in the future. Okay. That's I good. understand I will is like yo iré and I'm going to go. It's like yo voy a ir. Okay, that's good. What I have heard. Okay, Ronald, is un niño te pregunta eso si tienes un hermanito te dice mira Ronald. En la, en la escuela me preguntaron qué es la diferencia de yo voy a comer y yo comeré. How would you explain that to the little kid? I would say it's the same, just a different way to say it. It's like okay. when they say quizás o tal vez, it's the same. Like I will eat or I'm going to eat. I consider it's the same purpose. Okay, yeah, good, okay. Susan, what do you think is the difference? Um, I'm not sure, but um, as far as I remember, uh, it, the going to is when you have already plans to do something and the will is for like, um, I don't know, like like when you make a decision in the moment. So um, I will uh, drink water, water and uh, I'm going to... Um, visit the visit my parents on vacations for for example okay. that's what i think okay claudia what do you think one is a hundred percent sure and the another one is fifty percent sure wow the, percentage uh-huh yes i i remember that somebody talked and they in in that way Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody else? Angela de Jesus, do you know the difference between will and going to? Uh, I understand that I'm going to when I. For example, I going to finish my homework the English class, and the and will is when I know sure the 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 finish the my homework. Okay. Yes, everybody's correct. But when you say I'm going to and I will, now pay attention to this. The difference sometimes is very little. Sometimes the difference is not important. But sometimes the difference is important and it's different. It's very, there's a big difference. Have you seen in the movies when, when the man asks the woman, bueno, India, or the man asks the man or the woman asks the woman, will you marry me? Yes. Have you ever heard somebody say, are you going to marry me? No. I think no. in, in United States or United Kingdom, they use will. It's always will. Yes, will. Now, remember what I explained to you. I'm going to and I will. Sometimes the difference is not important. Sometimes it is. Sometimes the difference is very little. Sometimes it's very different. It's very big. In this case, uh, Susan was kind of correct. When you say I'm going to, it's a plan. When you say I will, it's a compromise, like a promise. So imagine, 
imagine I have a girlfriend and I tell you, hey, class, I'm going to get married because I love my girlfriend. Oh, yeah? When? I don't know. Maybe I can in five years. Yes or no? Así eran todo cuando empezaban a andar con alguien. ¿Y te vas a casar? Sí. Cuando, no sé, quizás de aquí unos cinco años. Well, it's a plan. But what about if you have a date, a place, and a time? A class. I want to invite you to my wedding. I will get married on November 7th in the hotel. There's a compromise that day. That is the difference. Now, tomorrow I'm going to eat a hamburger or tomorrow I will eat a hamburger. It's okay. The two are, the two are, is the same because it's really not important. The difference in this scenario. But if, if there's a compromise, okay, let, let me give you an example. Y la razón que le voy a dar este ejemplo no es por hablar de política, sino porque se van a relacionar con esto. Remember the president when he spoke with all the pandillas? He said, I will arrest everybody, every gang member. Why do you think he said I will? He is compromising. Yes. Remember he said si piensan atacar el pueblo, no van a comer. Se los juro por Dios, algo así dijo, right? But in that case, he was angry. He was saying, I will arrest everybody. That's a compromise. Okay, what else do you think is a compromise? Scorpions. The, the scorpions. Do you know Scorpions, the rock group? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, are they going to come this year or they will come this year? Oh, yeah, so. No. <clears throat> They're going to come or they will come. What do you think is the correct? They will come? Yes, they will come. Porque hay fecha. Lugar. Yes? There's a compromise. Yes. Ahora, si no tienen su, ustedes su entrada, pueden decir, oh, I'm going to go. Pero si ya la tienen, I will go. <laughs> okay, Sorry. obviamente pueden cambiar los planes. That's no problem. Pero, like, if you have your ticket, you say, hey, man, hey, let's go, let's go to to the beach next weekend. I can't. Why? Because I will go to the Scorpions concert. Okay, did you hear that on the weekend that maybe there's a rumor that Red Hot Chili Peppers in El Salvador? Yes, I heard. Okay. There's no confirmation. Correct? There's no confirmation. It's a maybe it's a plan. So everybody says, hey, maybe, maybe the red hot chili peppers are going to come to El Salvador. Ah, pero si ya está confirmado fecha ahora, lugar, y blah, blah, blah. hey man, the peppers are will come in October. That's a difference. Okay, but sorry. Irónicamente lo mismo también en español, Ronald. Cuando tú dices, yo voy a ir, ¿cómo se? Yo voy a ir, que okay, es un plan, pero yo iré, es un compromiso. De hecho, nunca han visto esto. Hey, who wants to help me? I will. Nadie dice, I'm going to. ¿Por qué la gente dice, I will? Es un compromiso. That's correct. You are compromising. Yes. 
That's why people say, I will always love you. Yes. Okay, no problem. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. Get it. Okay, todo esto son modals. Can, should, will. Next, we have have to and must. Next, we have have to and must. What is the difference? Susan, this is important for you. When, when because you are in quality, quality, right? So when yes, you get when you give feedback, there's a big difference when you say you have to and you must. Yes. What definitely. is it? What do you think is the ha difference? I I I um I understand that have to is like uh when you should do something, but you can skip it. Uh, and must this is a requirement that you cannot skip. I mean, you should you you definitely need to do it. Is this is something that you cannot um, forget or stop doing? That's what I understand. Okay. Somebody else a different opinion? I think I think teacher is something like must. It's like a obligation, and have to. It can be a little flexible. Okay. Well, yes, the two are obligations. <clears throat> okay. The only thing is that must is authority. Or legal authority or legal obligation. Now, why authority? I asked Susan. Okay, this is important for you, Susan, because Susan is quality control. Susan listens to calls. And when she hears something not correct, she calls that person and says, Gerardo, I heard your call. And you said, you said, thank you for calling. My name is Gerardo. How can I help you? Y eso no es lo que de, lo escrito. You must say, thank you for calling. How can I assist you? My name is Gerardo. An example, right? Let me give you a perfect example. When you drive, you must use your seatbelt or you have to? Must. Must, it's, it's una ley, it's a legal obligation. Lo hacen o no, that's another. That's your problem, pero must is not negotiable, right? <laughs> no es negociable. When you say you must. It's mandatory. It's mandatory. Well, I have to is mandatory too, pero must is legal. Y no solo legal de leyes, o sea, hay cosas legales en su trabajo también, que, que reglas internas. Like call centers. Call centers have a lot. Remember, okay, remember in, in COVID, there was one moment that you must have a mask. Correct. Yes. Every every uh, the store, the supermarket, it says you must use a mask. What about today? Well, you can be. You have to. Okay. So must is that. También tiene tono de autoridad. Once again, authority is who your doctor. Your teacher, the police, your mother, your father, your husband, your wife. 
Yes. So imagine I am your boss. I tell you, okay, everybody tomorrow, you must come in, in the blue uniform. Imagine in, 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 the, in the company, you have three uniforms, so white, blue, and red. Okay, tomorrow, everybody must come in the blue uniform. Ya pasó a ser autoridad porque lo dijo el superior. You understand? ¿Quién dice have to? Se, soy bien feo esto, pero have to lo, se lo dice alguien igual a ustedes. De compañero a compañero, de mamá a mamá, de hermano a hermana, hermana a hermano, you know? Brother, sister, hey, you have to come early, dijo mamá. You have to come early. Tienes que venir temprano, dijo mi mamá. Pero mi mamá lo dijo diferente. My mom said, you must be here at eight. Okay, so do you understand the difference between I have to and I must? Yes, teacher. I understand. Okay. Yes, teacher, good. Thank you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Gerardo, do you have to, in El Salvador, do you have to pay taxes or you must pay taxes? We must pay taxes. Yes, we must pay taxes. Correct? Uh, yes. Bert, Bert, in El Salvador, do you have to pay car insurance or you must pay car insurance? Mm, I think you have to pay. Yes. You. Yeah, you have to pay car insurance. No es una ley. Debería de. It's not mandatory yet. Yeah, but it's necessary. That's very necessary. Okay. Questions? No, I'm clear. When, when United States was attacked, todo el mundo decía, it must be Osama bin Laden. It must be. It must be because of evidence. Yes. Gerardo, in your house, yes. in your house, you work, correct? Yes. And your wife? No, she don't. She doesn't? She doesn't. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. What about you, Susan, in your house? You work, does your husband work? Yes, we both work. Okay. I imagine you um, divide responsibilities. Yes, we do. Okay. What part must, you, you can invent, okay? You can, you can lie if you want. <laughs> it's just, what must you pay? Um, the house. And he must pay um, the other bills like electricity, okay. water. The bills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you must pay the house. He must pay the bills. That's your yes. agreement. Yes. Cool. That ain't me too, but the other way. <laughs> I pay the house. My wife pays the bills. She must pay the bills. I pay them. All right, good. I don't know if it happened to you. It happened to me. When I started working and I lived with my mother, the first paycheck, I remember my mother, <clears throat> she told me, okay, son, now you work. Now that you work, you must pay in the house. And I remember, what? Why? Because you work. Now you must provide you must provide in your home I, and i was very angry and now i understand yes but my mother was not giving me an option she wasn't saying do you want to no she says you must 
she was giving me her authorization. I was like, because if I didn't want to, I had one option. That, <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Ronald, do you understand? I'm sorry, was mute. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, not many. Hey, hasta lo, lo chivo aprender inglés que también aprendemos un poco más de español. Hoy ya saben la diferencia de debo de y tengo que. <laughs> so in, in Spanish, debo de should, is the must. Tengo que is the have to. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. Debo de este. Es como cuando topan a alguien en la Mi amigo está bien topado. Man. Y el, la, la jueza le dice: Usted debe de pagar tanto mensual. No le dice: Tiene que. Y eso, ok, Mr. Wicho, you must pay, I don't know, 20, 30% of your check. You must. It's not negotiable. Okay. Do you know that in the United States they do that? What did you what? Irresponsible parents. Because remember I told you that I work as a translator. So traductor, right? No, yes, maybe, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I remember. Okay, so one time I received a call from a lawyer of New York City. And, and the lawyer called me, hi, interpreter, please, we're going to call Juan Perez, right? Okay. So we call. Hola, padre, con Juan Pérez. Hola, Juan Pérez. Me llamo David. Voy a ser su intérprete el día de hoy. Tengo una abogada de la ciudad de Nueva York que lo trae en línea. Ah, we start. And I remember the lawyer said, okay, Juan Pérez, you owe, usted debe, $30,000 or something like $27,000 or $30,000 to New York City. And Juan Pérez, what? Why? Manutención, child support. Eh, ¿cómo, se llama? ¿Cómo se llama child support? Sí, sí. Manutención. manutención. Yeah. And this Juan Perez says, but my two daughters, one is 30 and the other one is 27. That's impossible. And the person says, no, because... Desde que usted las dejó, cuando ellas tenían 11 años, el Estado se hizo cargo de ella, a la, a la mamá. Entonces, todo eso se le acumuló todos los dos años. O sea, abandonó a sus hijas como por 10 años cuando ellas cumplieron mayor de edad. Y el Estado le ayudó a la mamá. Y como este Juan Pérez había desaparecido de la nómina de pagos, cuando volvió a aparecer, lo dejaron. He, and they told him, you must pay. So in every paycheck, they take money. He was very, very angry. I was very happy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So that's the difference between you You have to and you must. But it's okay. The doctor tells, okay. tells you, the doctor tells you, you must stop smoking. You must do exercise. You must stop sugar, whatever. Your doctor, because he is authority for you. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Do, you, okay. do you have any questions? No, no, teacher, no problem. No? Okay, well, then thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. See you.
Uh, Peter, Peter, I'm sorry, I just I have just just one thing. Um, I mean, it's not about the class. I don't know if you have any any WhatsApp group or something because I am not uh, I'm not been added to any any kind of group. So I don't know if you have any group or something. We do. We do. Um, hold on. Look, here's my WhatsApp. Send me your your. That's my WhatsApp. Okay. Send me send me your info so I can send it to the administrator because really I don't know who the administrator is. Okay. So, so no, then they no. can add you. Okay. 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 Sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye, class. Have a happy Monday. Bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. You should relax. Bye. You should relax. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>